Hello guys, Aloy Andalus from OnBFX and Effective Technical Directors. Today I am recording that from SIGGRAPH Los Angeles. I have been invited by Autodesk to help them present some of the new stuff in 3D Studio Max and Maya. It has been a fantastic experience. I met a lot of nice people from Effective Technical Directors Forum, from the beta program of 3D Studio Max. Uh, has been a great experience overall. Uh, as I said, we present some new stuff in Max and Maya. We will cover this in deep in another video. Basic stuff, Max and Maya had a new indie version. It costs now $20 a month. It's Max full version, there is no limitations. You can apply for it if you do less than $100,000 a year on design work. It's not available for all the countries right now, but I think it's uh, pretty cool. As well, we present some of the new stuff that will come to 3D Studio Max, and one of them is Bifrost. Bifrost has been presented for Maya, it's available now for Maya, and it's on the beta of 3D Studio Max as well. Uh, so if you join the beta, you will be able to try it. Bifrost is a totally new visual programming system, it's an independent application, it's integrated in Maya and it will be integrated in Max. You can do a lot of things like uh, there is an aero solver, there is an NPM solver that are this NPM is done by the same guys that did uh, Disney research for Frozen. There is a strands. There is really interesting stuff. Aero resolution can be camera dependent, so if it's closer to camera, you can have more resolution. If it's far off the camera, we'll have less resolution. All on the same grid, you don't need to create different grids. It can be resolution dependent on time. We have instancing, and there is a lot, a lot of things going on. We had some examples in 3D Studio Max using instance where it runs millions of copies of instance with very great detail and it goes on at 30 frames per second on a regular laptop. As well has been the year of real-time ray tracing. Last year we saw the beginning, they present on Sigraph 2018 the first NVIDIA car supporting ray tracing. This year it's all about ray tracing. NVIDIA present a lot of cool stuff, like they present Omniverse, uh, based on USD. We saw a big trend about open standards, USD uh, has been planned for Max on the roadmap on the future. Omniverse is a USD-based application where they are writing plugins for Max, Maya, and all applications that they will be able to drive uh, content dynamically onto Omniverse, and it can do path tracing, ray tracing in real time. Multiple users can work at the same time. It has physics. It's really cool. On real-time ray tracing as well, we saw Project Labina by Chaos Group. It's his own version of uh, real-time ray tracer. It's different than V-Ray RT because Project Labina has been built up on RTX only. So it has been built up around RTX. So it's way faster than V-Ray RT. Uh, it doesn't support so many things yet. It will come, but you can see real-time ray tracing going on and we can let refine the image to get great uh, quality over time. NVIDIA as well present all his lineup of RTX Studio laptops. Has been like so many laptops supporting RTX, uh, showcasing different programs, uh, working on real-time ray tracing. There is MSI also presenting his laptops, Asus, a big range of laptops all focused on exploding RTX and real-time ray tracing. It's really the year of, I think, that will take out ray tracing in real time. Last year has been kind of a presentation of what's coming on. This year we can see that all the software is oriented for real time ray tracing and it's really impressive what we saw so far. We had as well Blender on a stand presenting Blender 2.8, showcasing some of the cool stuff that Blender can do. Uh, around there was Pablo and Todd from the Blender community, has been very great and the product is, is really great. It has been a lot of people around uh, the Blender stand checking the new version. So that's all guys, I will let the video 
keep playing with some other recordings I have so you can experience as well SIGGRAPH. I will love on past editions to have videos like that because I was not able to attend. So I hope that for all the people that cannot come to SIGGRAPH can see what is the experience more or less. Please let me a comment. I will appreciate a like, subscribe. It's always welcome. And that's all. See you soon, guys.